Hi everyone, here we are on beautiful Vancouver Island, BC, Canada, taking a look at my lapidary saws and what I've been cutting recently. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done a video. Uh, I had to clean the saws, do some maintenance, and uh, I've just been busy. So here we are with a new video. Here's a porphyry I collected this summer. Uh, beautiful, beautiful contrast in the black and white and uh, quite striking flowers. I really love this one. That's a uh, high-end flower stone I collected there. These are 18-inch, uh, sorry, 14-inch panthers I'm running. There's a beautiful rodentite I collected locally here on Vancouver Island. Uh, that saw is currently not working. I uh, screwed it up. Here is another rodentite we got in there. Then in this saw, another porphyry. This one's gonna make beautiful flowers. So my pendants where uh, I've isolated this one flower I'll set it in with a ruby or something, and uh, uh, the point I'm getting at is the price on these is going to be higher because it's more quality flowers, and you can see I have to do a lot of cuts to be able to get a couple of flowers for the higher end jewelry that I make. <clears throat> this is a 20 inch beautiful saw. Here's a piece I'll just show you because uh, I collected that locally too. That's going to turn out beautiful. It's actually kind of a blue. What else do we got here? Another flower, a couple flower stones, uh, porphyries, getting ready to go into the saw. There's a dallasite, which is uh, called uh, hyaloclastite is what it actually is. Another local stone. And there's a bin of pieces, a couple more rocks, rocks, rocks. Here's a few more that I just recently cut. Beautiful color on that sucker, eh? Collected not too far from my place is a bucket of rodentite. It's all black on the outside. So here's a piece of ancient sequoia. I'm polishing this up and going to be selling at a rock show on the island coming up in a couple of weeks. So I'm going to make sure that that is ready for it. Uh, some more petrified wood bookends. Get them ready. Another beauty piece of rodentite. Get another one. And then we'll quickly take a walk over here. A couple of bowls I just finished. So here is a porphyry bowl. The polish turned out beautifully. Uh, I did a little ring around it this time. I don't normally do, but I think it turned out quite well. It's interesting and different, you know. Uh, beautiful flowers, beautiful contrast on that one. Big flowers. I mean, it's a beautiful piece of flower stone porphyry. Then this bowl I made. Uh, locally, it's called Gordonite. It differs slightly from Unikite, but is similar to Unikite. I only say that because everybody wants me to call it Unikite. But uh, locally, it's called Gordonite. It is feldspar basalt quartz and epidote that's quite a large bowl that i made this time for this one you know very deep there we go showing you a few things that i do uh, another basalt bowl i've made some old knife handles i made long ago and uh, a bunch of rocks that i've tumbled from local stuff you know it just goes on and on uh, there is today's video and uh, we'll see you soon